Before I start the video, this is the a kit I bought that I'm going to install on my 2004 GMC Canyon. That's the seller. And that's how much I paid. And yeah, this is the Pioneer I bought. And you could just search, you could just search like your year. Just search GMC, whatever year, whatever your year is. And you can get a bunch of radios, like whatever price you want. Like for the price, and I just got like the budget one. But and as you can see, everything comes with the kit. And this is almost the same seller that's selling this stuff. Like let's say I want this one. And as you can see, it's the same seller too. So yeah, just you can search any area you want. What kind you want? You can even get it with GPS or anything. That's it. So I'm gonna start the video now. Hello, I want to show you how to replace a replace a radio to an aftermarket radio. I bought a, an eBay as a kit, and I'm going to show you how to install it. You got to start by taking out this trim. You just put your hand on the bottom here, pull, get the clips out, get the clips out, and it all just pulls out. Once you pull it out, it just pulls out. There's going to be three wires in the back. There's going to be this big harness. You just press the button. That big harness, you just press the button right here in the back and pull out. The top one, you just pull it. But make sure you pull it by the by the the harness this one has no button the top one with where the blinker goes the emergency light just pull it and it pulls out but for this one there's like a little notch you can put a screwdriver in there and that little notch and it'll, and it'll uh, pull out once you remove all the harnesses there's three harnesses right here this one just has a button. You press it right here and pull it and it pulls out. This one doesn't have nothing. You just grab it and pull it. That's it. And it'll just come out. But this one, it has a like a stopper thing right here. You can put a screwdriver in the side of here. You can take the screwdriver and put it right right there and just push it and it'll just pull out the harness just put, just take it right here from the bottom like, like you you'll press it and push it and it'll pull out and that's it and here's the radio there's going to be two bolts there and one bolt there i already had a about when i bought this truck it already had a aftermarket radio but it's kind of broken so i'm switching it to another one when you take the bolts off on the side, it just pulls out. And mine's got a harness here and a harness there. That's for the your antenna. This is your factory harness. For mine, somebody cut all the wires from the harness. And did their all harness install for the radio. I gotta figure it out how to use this harness. I was thinking maybe cutting all the wires and reconnecting this harness back. So I just gotta figure it out what to do. Alright, I was able to connect all these wires together. And I'm just gonna tape it up once I connect this orange wire. And I'm going to start taping everything up and see if this harness still works. 
And this is what came with the... This harness came with the radio. And this harness came with the dash kit. So I'm just going to connect them together. And then connect this end to the factory harness. And then this end will go to the radio. Now I'm just putting the wires together like that. And spinning it clockwise. And I'm just connecting them like that and then just put tape around it, electric tape. So I managed to to put the thing and I put the tape for temporarily. I'm about to go test that out. And I wasn't sure if the red goes to orange. And then I had one wire left out. It's a uh, orange with the white line. So I wasn't sure. So I just put tape, electric tape on it, like temporarily, and I'm about to go connect it, test it out. Let me guys give you an update what I did. I had a red wire, it's separate from the harness, and I thought I don't have to use it. But I did have to use it. So from your aftermarket stereo, from the harness, it'll go to the red. It goes to red, goes to red, and for the harness that came from the with the with the kit, I didn't have to use the orange one, and I did not use I did not use the orange one, solid solid orange, and the orange one with the line with the white line. I did not have to use that, so I just I was gonna be left blank, and the rest wires they're all color coded so just connect them to how they are and just connect it to the factory harness and that's it and you should be good and then just test out if it works so just put your key on on chris rice now and come to jesus on 95.5 and you can see it powers on and everything works. I tested the Bluetooth and everything functions and all the speakers play. And that's it. So I'm going to put everything back together, tape up everything, put everything nicely, make it look nice. And I'll get back to you when I'm done. Uh, one more thing. Don't forget to connect the antenna. Antenna so your radio will work. Also, my um, radio came with a microphone to connect for your Bluetooth to talk. And I don't think I'm going to connect that. I'm just going to leave it off. And here's the final product after I uh, put everything nicely and taped everything. Connected each wire by color. Taped that wire. And then I just put a piece of tape so it can be together. Make it look nicer. And um, this will go to the aftermarket stereo. And this side will go to your harness from your truck, truck radio. And this red wire, this red wire will go to the red wire that I said about earlier. Here's the whole kit that it came with. It came with the radio. And uh, this is the dash kit unit right here. I gotta make this now too so we can put the radio in and finish up the installation. Looking at the instructions, the 2004 and up James C. Canyon. We'll have to cut off all those. The tabs that are gray, we'll have to cut it off. So all of these things, we got to get rid of them. All of these. So I took a knife. Took a knife. And like, did, did it like this here. And broke them off. So I don't, so I don't damage the frame. So like I, I notched it. And 
Then just push it that way and it breaks up easily. That's what I did. That's what I did for these two sides. Just look at the instructions. And it's easy what, what you gotta cut. This, here's for the right bracket. I cut off all those pieces because you don't need them. And I put a spacer. This is for the the right side. And for the left side, I did the same thing. You cut off all those pieces, and except you leave that big one, and you put a spacer. You slide in the spacer. Then you just take the bracket, and you gotta push them in, in here. So, here's the box like that. And then this part will go in here. Like that, and then you gotta put screws on the side to hold this, to hold this, the, to hold it. I break these pieces off on top and bottom because they don't, they, they don't get in the way, so I just left them on without breaking them. Right, I was able to put it together. Now for the radio, there was this trim on it, you have to remove that and this was on it, it was inside. You have to use these two tools, You the radio is in here, you take this tool, you gotta slide it in, there's like a notch for it, this notch, you slide them in and both and both, and you have to pull this thing out, so you get like this kind of radio. So now you just slide it in, you have to slide it in and just screw the sides up and that's it. Okay, so for my setup, this is it. Put the bolts on the side, radio is holding, not going anywhere, solid. So I didn't have to use this faceplate and this metal bracket. I did not need it for my setup. This is for uh, putting this in a 2004 GMC Canyon. And this is it. Before you put everything up and seal everything, test your connection. Like plug everything in, connect the harness. Don't forget that red wire. For me, don't forget, like, I needed to connect this red wire. Don't forget to connect your antenna. Um, you will need an adapter. I didn't need one because I already had an aftermarket radio and the guy, whoever did it, already had it. So I did not need an adapter. But the kit that I bought on eBay comes with everything. You get everything. You get the harness, the antenna adapter, the dash kit, the radio, everything. And I got a Pioneer one. And this is like the final thing. And I'm about to just test it out, see if everything works, if the radio turns on. So I put my key on on. And as you can see, the music's playing. It shows the song name and everything. And yeah, I mean, everything's function. The volume. So yeah. And I'm about to start sealing everything. And one more thing, it did come with a microphone for the Bluetooth to talk. I'm not going to install it. You have to like run the wire through the inside, like through the thing and hit it right here if you want it or something. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to use that. And yeah, that's it. I'm about to seal everything up and that's it. I put the bolts back. And make sure these three harnesses are are where they're supposed to be. So there's the three harnesses right there. And I'm going to put on the, um, the trim. Alright, for the wires, start with the one on top. Then do the side one. And then do the bottom one. That was the easiest for me. And then just position it and put it in place and make it look nice. Alright. And this is the final product. Looks really nice. I get a nice shelf here. And I could test it again. On position. 
radio turns on. And yeah, that's it. And enjoy your radio. And that's it. And you can check if your buttons work. See if everything functions better, good, if the heater works. That's it. Everything's working. And that's it. So, see ya and have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you too.